What's up guys, you're watching India Today Tech, I'm Rahul Sehdi and in this video, I'm going to unbox a very unique device. It's the Infinix Note 5 stylus and the unique thing about it is, is that it comes with a stylus, a pen, very similar to that of the Galaxy Note series from Samsung. The good part is that the phone comes with Android One project, so you'll get nearly stock experience on the phone and there are other things mentioned at the back as well. So Infinix is calling the S Pen doppelganger the X Pen and there is a 5.93 inch full HD plus display with 18 to 9 aspect ratio and you get a 16 megapixel camera at the rear and at the front as well. The battery is 4000 mAh and you get a full metal unibody design. Infinix claims that this phone is made in India and it's written at the back. Let's find out how's the design and other things about the device. And if you want to know the box price, it's written 16 triple nine at the back. But I leave the exact price in the description box below. So do check that out. This price is for 4 GB, 64 GB version. All right, so at the top, you have the phone itself with all the specs mentioned again. This is very similar to the Infinix Note we had earlier unboxed. Comes in full red color antenna bands are put at the top and the bottom it has a matte finish at the back which feels pretty nice there's only a single camera at the rear with the fingerprint scanner placed below it and it has been given a very good shape there's a dual tone led flash also accompanying the rear camera and at the bottom you'll see there is a stylus and it has been done in a very similar fashion as the galaxy note series but we'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's quickly take a look at the other box contents. At first you get a SIM ejector tool and in this box, or rather it's a folded leaflet, you get other things as well. So this is a Google Assistant cover that probably Google wants it to bundle on the phone. There is a screen guard, then there is a warranty card, a quick start guide as well that tells you how to set up the smartphone. Next, you get a case also bundled inside the phone. It's not a clear one done in gray and it is a bendable case. So it has covers for the headphone jack and the charging port, which can be irritating at times, but it fits the phone pretty perfectly. Also, the cover is extending out of the phone's front surface. So if you put it face down, it will also prevent scratches on the display as well. Okay, so next is the travel adapter. And let me take a look at the rating. So the output on the charger is nine volt, two amperes. So it sums up to be 18 watt charger. So the phone comes with a fast charger and supports fast charging as well, which is pretty nice. Next, there's a micro USB cable, a flat one with good length and quality. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is pull out the SIM tray on this device. Let's take a look at the slots you get. So it's a hybrid slot. So you can't really put two SIM cards while expanding the storage. At the bottom, you get a micro USB port with a headphone jack, primary microphone, the speakers. At the top, there is no secondary microphone for noise cancellation. At the right, you have power key and the volume rocker, which are quite tactile and have good feedback. They're also made in metal like the body itself. At the back, as we saw, there's the single camera, fingerprint scanner, dual LED flash, there's Infinix logo, followed by the Note logo and the Android One logo. You can see the build quality of the smartphone is pretty terrific. I mean, it has used solid metal all around. The edges are chiseled finely and the back is rounded ever so slightly to give it a very good ergonomic hold in the hand. For a phone at this price, I must say it has amazing build quality. At the front, you'll see there are bezels, both at the top and the bottom, there is no notch. At the top bezel, you'll find the front camera, ambient light and proximity sensors, the earpiece, and the front flash. Now, as I power up the device, you take a look at the full specs of the Infinix Note S stylus. Now, if you talk about the fingerprint unlock on the device, it's pretty fast opens the phone as soon as I keep my finger on it, which is pretty amazing. As mentioned on the box, the phone comes with Android One. It's stock Android, smooth and easy going with no third party apps or features to bug you all the time. Let's take a look at what all extra apps you get on the device. 
your FM radio, there's X Note app that is a companion app for the stylus and there is the Files Go. So it's pretty similar to what you get on Note smartphones, although there are slight differences. Like the tip is separately visible apart from the pen body and there is a button at the front end. There's also a chip-like thing near the front which probably tells the phone that the pen is out and fires the application. And as soon as you pull out the S Pen, you get a pop-up very similar to the Air command on the Galaxy smartphone that allows you to select an app for use with the S Pen. So I am able to keep my hand on the screen and still able to write. The experience is not as smooth as what you get on Note phones of course, but still the app offers you very similar features. A very small lag that I can feel while writing. Keeping the hand on the display surely influences it, so it's not as well, it would not recognize false touches of the hand if the stylus mode is on. Anyways, let's check out the other apps that allows you to crop the display in various shapes and allows you to write on it and save it for later viewing. There's also a memo app that allows you to take down fast notes, but I don't think it will recognize a phone number like the Galaxy Note does and probably you can save it in the contacts section as a phone number and all the notes are saved in a repository that you can view from the view files option which is pretty nice so the apps are not as advanced as what you get on the Galaxy Note series but they are pretty good nonetheless for taking basic notes and for impromptu writing while you're using your smartphone. Anyways, let's take a look at the other things on the phone. For example, the display on the device has a full HD plus resolution. And if you take a look at the brightness levels, they are pretty nice. This is the full brightness on the device. And I think it will be able to combat outdoor brightness, but we'll still have to check in various lighting conditions. The quality of the display is pretty nice. Although I see their slight saturation in color, and they don't seem to be very accurate but if you talk about the viewing angles they are very good and the overall display quality is not bad at all if you take a look at the cameras there's a 16 megapixel camera in the front so let's quickly take a selfie and take a look at so let me turn off the beauty mode as well and then we'll take a selfie the shutter is pretty loud and despite me turning off the beauty mode it does brighten the face and the photo is not very sharp as you would expect of a 16 megapixel camera i mean as you zoom in the pixels are breaking and you see there's good amount of over processing done on the photo to make it look better probably or brighter whatever is the case the front camera is not very amazing on this device let's take a look at the shots taken from the rear camera the rear camera thankfully doesn't have this problem it preserves skin tones if you are clicking human beings and if you're clicking photos in good or natural lighting conditions, you'll see the dynamic range on the photos is pretty nice. The colors captured by the rear camera are also pretty good. And for a 16 megapixel resolution, and the details captured by the sensor are also satisfactory. We'll be doing a full round of testing for the camera. So do subscribe to our channel and look out for a full review. Anyways, overall, the Note 5 stylus appears to be a nice option if you're looking to buy a smartphone with a pen. Otherwise as well for a phone, it's pretty nice, although it's slightly heavy and the screen to body ratio as you'll see is not as amazing as phones in its price range like that on the Moto 1 Power, the Nokia 5.1 Plus or the recently announced Redmi Note 6 Pro. And if you want that, you can buy a Note 5 stylus. The good part is that the phone comes with stock Android interface under the Android One project, so you will be getting regular updates for at least two years. So software will not be a problem on this device. We'll have to check the full performance, both of the phone and the camera. So do subscribe to our channel. If you have anything to ask about this phone, let us know in the comment section below. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.